Hi everyone, uh, welcome to uh, Geek Decoders YouTube channel. So today we are going to do beginner tutorial number 5. So if you are watching my channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel for more Power BI tutorials uh, like this. So today uh, the main topics I'm going to cover is how to use selected value function, DAX function and to show uh, values in dynamic way and uh, in this tutorial the same time I'm going to cover how to use uh, calculate function and how to use variables and how to use minimum and maximum functions and how to use uh, ease enable functions so those are the basic uh, topics that I'm going to uh, touch in this uh, tutorial so for the today's tutorial I'm, I'm going to use Excel datasheet uh, in that Excel datasheet we have name, month marks and subject columns uh, and values so I will upload this data sheet in my description section so when you are following the tutorial please download the data sheet so that will be easy for you so this is the first dashboard uh, that I am going to develop in Power BI so this is a very basic level of uh, Power BI dashboard uh, so in here we have a subject uh, drop down uh, box and name so that also comes in the drop down box then uh, we'll display the first name and the subject and then the average marks the maximum marks and the minimum marks so those are the basic values that I'm going to show in my Power BI dashboard account in the sheets that I have shown to you so now we go to the report section so now I'm going to develop it first I want to have two drop down box one is uh, subject so that comes like this so I have to select slicer visualization and I have to select here drop down and then I have to increase the font size a bit so for that I go to format and then uh, slicer header and then I will uh, increase the text size right then uh, when it comes to values also I want to uh, increase the font size a bit for that I go item and then I uh, increase the font size right so first drop down is added now so now I'm going to add the name drop down so I'm click it it so same time I'm going to use uh, the slicer right so then uh, I can directly select this one and format one and then I can directly add format here directly I can format it go to here and select format and then if I format it so that it will automatically uh, display that the way I want as the previous slicer so then I have to add a border here so then I go and I add a border right then I select format printer again and then I select this one so now uh, two drop down box are added so now I want to have the uh, name for that I select again uh, a card visualization then I add the name here so it will automatically display the name right so then I add a border here as well right then I want to add a subject it's that also I use a card right so here also I go format and I select here so then it will format the way I want so then I want the average so for that I select again card and I add as the field I select mark here so it will first give the total but I want the average so I select average here right so that also done so I go and can format it as I want right then I want the minimum so I select again the card function and I add marks and I add the minimum here right and then I format it I format this one as well so then I want the maximum so I select again a card visualization right I select as the marks and then I select here the maximum right now I select this one and I format it 
so now as you can see the first dashboard is been developed the basic one so if I select subject or whatever so it will filter out the values and display uh, according to uh, the value that I uh, have given in the slicer so as you can see now if I select science and uh, if you select John Smith so then the values related to John Smith will display uh, so that is the first uh, Power BI dashboard but there's a small problem here let's say if you select all right so it will display the average marks minimum and maximum marks according to the uh, values in the data sheet but in here as you can see even though without we have selected it will take the first name here so uh, we can say last name as well uh, but uh, without selecting it as uh, same goes for the subject as well without selecting it will take the default value which we set here so that uh, is kind of a problem for me uh, according to my requirement so now, now I'm going to change it uh, as I want right let's see uh, how to do that so in my tutorial in my requirement so what it uh, mentioned is so when we select both values in the slicer then only it should display the name subject and average marks average uh, maximum marks and the minimum marks so that is my requirement for that uh, we'll see how to do that with the measurement and with the DAX functions so that will be the task for the today's tutorial so the first one would be the name one so we'll select the name and we need to write a measurement in order to achieve my task so that means if we select the name then it should display the value so for that I go here and right click and create a new measurement right so I'm going to write the function here so I still uh, write it as name one equals so then I wanted the selected value in the slicer so I'll, for that I take the dex function selected value so then I can give the column as name and then alternative result if the value is not being selected then I can say select the name right so then I enter it So now as you can see in my fields the name one the measurement that I have created is there so I want to add it to the uh, value section instead of first name so I add it this one right so as you can see now there's no value selected in here so it will display as select the name right let's say we try it and see whether the function is working properly so if we select something right so now add on creator is comes uh, once we select it in the slicer right so I'm going to write it the same function to the subject as well so I select a little bit bigger subject so then I create a new measurement so I write okay I write subject one equals so then it should be the selected value selected value then the column should be subject then the alternative one should be select the subject so now the subject one measurement also uh, can be find uh, can be found in the field section now I'm going to add it this card so I remove this one and I add subject one here so now it displays as select the subject so for that let's say we, we select subject something like science or something so then uh, as you can see now the value is getting displayed so now this is how we use the selected value function so if you select something in the slicer so if you want to display the value that is being selected in the slicer so that uh, we can use the selected value function so now as you can see if we deselect something so it will show select the subject so that is how we use the selected value function right so now uh, so we have to develop that same type of function for the average minimum and max marks as well so first I try to develop one for the average marks so in this when we are writing so we might have to use selected value because we use uh, we take the average mass according to the values that is being selected in the slicer and we might have to use the calculate function 
and then max function mean function and average functions when you are writing all these three and the same time uh, we might have to use uh, is blank function and also uh, I'll tell you I will uh, when we are writing I'll explain you how to use the variables as well so let's see right so now I'm going to write a function for the average so I'll create a new measurement I make it a bit bigger right so now we are going to write the average functions for that I write average one equals first we want to have the uh, selected name value for that I use I use first say alt enter to go to a new line and then I try to assign it to a variable the name that I been I have been selecting uh, in my slicer for that I use var so var will be the variable that how we use it in power bi var name one equals selected value sheet name alt enter then again for the subject as well I write the same things var subject one selected value sheet one subject so now two uh, values uh, that I have selected in the slicer will be added here now I have to use uh, when these two values are not null then I have to get the average of the uh, marks for that uh, since uh, we have to get the first the average and then we have to filter it according to the name and subject so in power bi if you wanted to use filtering then we definitely have to use the calculate function so how we'll see how to use the calculate function for that we go select var average return value should be calculate so as you can see in the calculate expression first it should be the expression that means the uh, average marks some marks uh, minimum marks or whatever expression that you can write there so for that I write average marks so then I have to use the filtering so filter one should be sheet name should be equal to the name one variable then sheet subject should be equal to the subject which is been selected in the slicer right so this is uh, the calculate function now in this calculate function it will come it will uh, bring you the average it will calculate the average which is been selected according to the value that is being selected in the slicer right so then I enter because sometimes if the value is getting uh, blank so we might not get a value for average let's say if the name is not there or a subject is not there so then in this function we will not the average so when you are returning so we have to handle the blank value so when you are uh, returning so what we have to do is to avoid the blanks we have to say if is blank so is blank value if this is blank that means we can say average r is blank right so that will be the logic test for the if condition if it is blank then I say select subject and subject and name if false let's say if it is not blank then I have to return the average value right so now we'll enter and see whether the function is working right now uh, we'll see whether we replace the average function with the average one right so now it is uh, it says select subject and name so now I think uh, it is working let's say if we select a value subject so as you can still still it will not give a value because we have to select both values so let's say if we select Brittany right as you can see now the average value is getting displayed if we select the both values let's say if we deselect something right so let it mention select the subject and 
name so in this average function as you can see I have uh, used variables I have used selected value function in the slicer and I have used calculate function so calculate function is used to filter the values and then I have used is blank function so that are the function that is mentioned in the tutorial so all the uh, main topics are being covered now right now we write it to minimum and max as well so it is the same function that we can copy here because it is it, it uh, uses the same uh, technique so here I write a measurement So in that measurement so I can say selected values will be equal so then I can here say uh, mean return value so then here accord, apart from the average I say mean right here I return minimum R. So now I'm going to uh, replace this function as well. Right, so now I'm going to write for the maximum as well. So I write a new function, new measurement. So same way that I have written to average can be used there as well. So uh, first I'm going to copy that because we don't want to rewrite it again and again because it is already been developed the logic right we say max one uh, here we change it to max so important thing is to change the function right here we use the desired variable right we enter so function is working fine and now we replace it the max function right here also as you can see now it is mentioned that sublet and uh, name has to be selected so let's say if we select these values so now as you can see all the values is been selected in the slices can be shown according to the function or the measurement that we have written so in today's tutorial I think you have learned many things so first the main thing that you have uh, learned is selected value function tax function and uh, how to show the dynamic values and then uh, you uh, learn to use how the how to use the calculate function and variables uh, in power bi and then minimum and max function and also the is blank function so uh, if you like my video please uh, share it with your friends uh, please uh, and also subscribe to my channel uh, for more tutorials like this and i'll sh share you in future and keep in touch uh, and thank you